Let me give you five reasons why you don't need a degree, and I don't mean just a computer science degree, any degree, to get a job as a software engineer. Let's get into it. First up, I don't have a degree, so it must be true. Number two, things are changing. Even the top companies no longer require you to have a computer science degree. That isn't to say that they will let someone who doesn't have a degree in. A lot of them still have the requirement of a degree. But what I would say to that is be selective. Don't look at those top Google, Apple, Facebook companies. I'm looking at a list of 100 startups here in London. All of them are hiring. All of them are reasonably small in terms of their sizes. And majority of them don't require me or you to have a degree. So be selective. Number three is practical knowledge. This field and the industry is all about practical knowledge. It isn't one of these other industries where you need to stay in the industry in the same job for 10 years to get that promotion. Mm -mm. I know a lot of people who in a very short span of time have progressed from a junior to a mid to a senior. The reason is practical knowledge. The same thing applies. For you, all you need to do is have proficient knowledge, practicalities around how to code a particular language. You do that well, you're in as a junior engineer, job done. Number four is practical knowledge. Is it? No, it's not. It's interviewing well. What good is all that practical knowledge when you don't put it to practice in an interview? And I'm not saying you've got to interview well every single time. You just have to interview well once. I know a lot of people in this room who have not done well at interviews. Multiple times. But that one time they did well, they got in. And that is all that matters. As long as you show practical knowledge proficiencies in the language that you're interviewing for, that's all people care about. Sure, they'll see if you're an okay person. You fit in culturally. That's a different category completely. But the one number one thing they will look at is, does this person know this particular language? Did they do well in the interview? Yes. You're in. And finally, having a degree doesn't mean that you will be better at coding than me. You might have a degree in political science, English literature. That doesn't mean that you'll be able to code better than me or someone who doesn't have a degree. No, it is all about practical knowledge, how much you have applied yourself when you're learning a particular language and how well you interview. Now, under some circumstances, people with a degree do tend to interview well. And some people have biases because they have a degree. But, like I said, you be selective, you be proficient, you interview well, and you can get through without a degree. Number six, the bonus point that you weren't expecting is being curious. Is that right? Yeah. That is really valued in a lot of people. It doesn't matter if you have a degree, you don't have a degree, you have a computer science degree. Uh -uh. I look for that trait in everyone who's starting out because that means you're inquisitive. You're more than willing to look, dig deep. You know where to look. You'll keep going. You're not going to stop. All of those things mean that you will make a better engineer, not just a junior, but a mid and a senior. Up the ladder, you go. So if that one trait that you don't have right now, you can build it. You can build any trait you want. I have a lot of really bad ones. But being curious is one of the ones that I do think I have. And it's one that's got me really far. So, so do that.
And that's the bonus one. So that's it. Very short and sweet video for those of you who are looking for an excuse to say, ah, I'd love to do coding, but I don't have a computer science degree. I've just given you reasons why you can get into this field without any degrees, not just a computer science one. So just do it. That's it from me. I'll see you in the next one.